This video is a short demonstration of a um, quick draw timer I made for my friend Ian. Um, here we have a power input, uh, 12 volts DC. Uh, this is um, a sample like target you might shoot. I think uh, he said they're uh, usually 22 inch diameter. and um, But I just have this set up for um, testing purposes. This is a piezo sensor. This is a seven segment display, um, microcontroller. Um, this is a switch for cycling through um, the history of the shot timers. This is a uh, run and pause switch. It's uh, currently looks like it's in the um, pause position. Uh, so that means that when you turn it on, um, it won't um, automatically start um, the um, timing and firing sequence, um, but I think we can talk about that in a little bit. Um, power input, um, this is, um, looks like here we have um, uh, 12 volts positive DC uh, and negative, uh, sorry, negative for that, and um, this is reverse polarity protected. Uh, if you connect it up backwards, it won't run. Um, and the next one over is, um, well, the, this, this one and then the one next to it, these two are for the piezo. Um, polarity doesn't matter there. It'll work either way. And then these, the next two on the, the very end are, um, this is kind of dark there, but, uh, the next two on the very end are for an external um, LED. Um, it's uh, driven by this MOSFET here, and it can uh, switch quite a quite a bit of load. So you'd have a very large LED array. Um, you might be able to use like a automotive um, LED cluster, or you could make a cluster. Um, I think they have. LED tail lights, um, but it does want to be LED, I think, because um, incandescent bulbs um, will take too long to um, incandescent bulbs will take too long to turn on, and it'll kind of like um, skew the the timing results. So there's a better look of the um, input connections. Um, there's um, 12 volts. Um, negative for the 12 volt supply um, piezo and um, LED negative LED positive so anode and cathode anode and cathode um, what else I guess I can um, turn it on when I first turn it on um, both um, you'll see that on the microcontroller there is an onboard um, an onboard LED there. So whenever that LED is on, it's also triggering this MOSFET. So anything connected to these two ports will also turn on. So you'll see a green LED onboard and this LED, um, which will be your um, it embedded into the target later on. Um, that'll also turn on. Um, so again, we're in pause mode, I believe and um, I'll connect it and um, you'll see a bunch of flashes in the very beginning. Um, here, it just kind of flashes for a while to um, uh, just to say it's alive, I guess, and uh, not start the timing sequence immediately. Um, so now it's running uh, and it would uh, be asking for um, or it would be preparing you to, um, I don't know, get ready to shoot the target, I guess, um, by blinking a few times if it were in run mode. It's not, so um, I'll switch this over to run mode, and you should see what will happen is um, the light will blink um, four times on, and then when it goes off um, for that fourth time, it starts a random timer that goes from two to five seconds, somewhere in between two and five seconds, um, 
it sets this random timer for, and then it will suddenly turn on this light, and that's when you're supposed to shoot at the target. Um, so the, the time elapsed between when this turns on, saying to fire, and when you hit the target, um, will get displayed up here. Um, and then it will cycle around to the next one. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So I'll just turn that on. So there's one, two, three, four. So now it's off. So it's that uh, delay. And now it's, it's turned on, so it's looking for a hit. And there, it blinks uh, rapidly to say that we've hit. And it shows that it took me 2.7 something seconds. So now it'll come around again, and it'll, it'll do the four blinks here in a second. There, it grabs a new random time. Oh, and there, I hit it that time a bit quicker, 0.962. Um, of course, you can miss the target too. So we'll miss this next one. Let's see what happens. So now we should be shooting at it, but we've we've missed the target. Oh, and it uh, just shows a whole bunch of dashes. Okay. Um, so just switch it back into. Um, pause mode. I think I, I think I'm in pause mode. Anyway, if you uh, click on this button, uh, that shows zero. So what zero is, is the number of hits. Um, so this is kind of like a menu system. I guess I should have explained that. Uh, it'll cycle through zero through uh, five, and then, um, so zero means, um, well, we'll just go through it. Um, See if we can get there again. Oh, we're on two. So two is um, the hit percentage, 66%. Back at zero. Uh, zero is number of hits. So that's two hits. One is the number of misses. We've missed once. Two is the hit percentage. Um, and three is the lowest time that I've uh, got four is the longest time I've got and five is the average of all the times all the hit times Do that doesn't include the misses and then it just cycles around to the beginning again so zero um, I guess that jumped to menu one um, anyway uh, that is working it's just uh, I'm not demonstrating it very well so if we switch back into run mode then um, You'll see it starts blinking again, and um, it'll be looking for um, there. So fire, shoot again, and uh, there it goes again. So I think that's it. Um, oh, uh, then if you could also if you connect a um, FTDI cable um, up to this port here. Um, then you can um, log all of these statistics to your laptop. Um, it'll tell you whether you hit the target or missed the target. It'll tell you uh, the average time, uh, the total number of hits, um, total number of misses, um, and I think uh, maybe something else. But um, that's basically it. Um, it. And it sends the, all that data over um, in CSV form format, so if you you log you can log it to a, a CSV file and then um, post process the data for some uh, for some extra bit of fun, I guess. Okay, that's it. Bye.